This video is for my builder brethren who may not be as enthusiastic about 3D modeling as I am, but may desire to get a takeoff for this roof, for instance, or, um, you know, with SketchUp, you could take these two-dimensional drawings. Everybody gets these digitally nowadays, either a PDF form or some sort of uh, digital format. And in SketchUp, you can bring it in as either a, a JPEG image uh, that you can import or preferably a CAD file so that we could snap the different um, portions of the two-dimensional drawing and, of course, scale it to make sure that it's in proper scale. So here, I've got a typical house here with the floor plan, which we'll not discuss right now, but all four elevations that I've just sort of fla uh, splayed out across the perimeter of the house. Uh, but you can you could create the entire 3D model of this house based off the 2D drawings, but for right now, we're just going to do the roof. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand these up. I'm going to stand these elevations up. I'm just using move. When you go to move, you can actually rotate it. If you see it hovering over in these red um, uh, locations here, that you can actually rotate it. So I'm going to get on the side. I'm going to rotate it up 90 degrees. All right, and then I'm actually going to, for this one, I'm going to move the right from the where the start, where the eave is, right where it starts to go up on the pitch. I'm going to move it and I'm going to snap it right to this corner right there. So you can see how that lines up. Alright, so we'll start out with a simple one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start drawing lines. Um, and and second, before I get too far, I want to note that I have a couple of layers in here. Each one of these is on a layer called 2D. And that way we can control the visibility. Layers let you control visibility. so we'll be able to cut off these 2D elements and see the roof that we're creating. All right, so I'm just going to simply draw some lines here. Um, actually, it looked look like I've got it exact. So let's get it by using move and get it exactly to that point. Let's go to the other side and make sure that we're good. Yes, okay. So L for line, and I'm just going to pick the point that, that we're starting with. I go up onto the ridge, to the peak. And back down okay I'm going to now uh, draw this particular Eve to there now I'm going to use inference here I'm going to start at the right at the peak I'll go along into the green axis and hold down shift until I can align with this peak right here where it goes before it goes down along this hip and then connect it and you'll see that we have a face and I'm going to reverse that face okay alright so now we've got one <clears throat> one face on there alright now let's go ahead and get the rest over here I'm going to start from here and in this case we're going to have some hidden parts that we're going to clean up but I'm going to hold down shift and infer to this point again and just connect the dots now I'm going to connect up from here to here and now you can see I've got these faces of the roof all right now let's take uh, let's take this guy right here we're gonna hold with move and rotate it up 90 degrees and I'm moving around with the use of a 3d mouse I personally can't work in SketchUp without one they're an awesome tool uh, by 3D connection but it lets you surgically move around. Okay, I'm going to pick this point in here and you can see the guy that drew this thing in 2D is that trim board is kind of throwing off that ridge. It's not exactly perfect but okay, let's look at that. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so from here let's get this main roof. We can pretty much do it with this one uh, face. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Let's use R for rectangle. And we're going to go ahead and just go from this point to that point. That's going to get us a face that has the, the bordering ed edges that we need. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and draw right from this part here where it goes to the hip. I'm going to go straight up and the blue axis hold down shift and I'm going to infer this peak right there alright and I'm going to come over now in the red axis see how we're locking into an axis 
hold down shift and I'm going to infer this other part of the ridge and that's the main ridge of the house. Now just to be clean I'm going to get rid of this vertical line that we're never going to use or need. So that's my main ridge. And now I'm just going to connect There's a face, and I'm going to reverse that. Reverse faces, if you can apply a texture to that, but if you were to render it, it, it in many programs it won't show. All right, let's go down to this point, and that point. Reverse face. Okay, now let's get this last little face here, we're going to kind of go underneath things until we see it. And there. So now we have the main roof. And I'm going to reverse those faces. So now if we cut off this 2D layer, you can see we're starting to get a roof here. Okay, but you can also see we need a continuation here. We don't have, uh, right in here, we're going to have a, a, a water issue. Okay. Um, so we need to uh, continue this, or it had to, has to have a little ridge in here. So I'm just going to take a line from here to there, all right, because that's our valley. But then I'm going to extend that line. You'll notice it's going to lock in that purple axis until it hits, okay, because that's parallel or running on the same line. So now I've got this little ridge here that's going to go back to there and there to there. While I'm at it, I'm going to continue down for that little valley. Then I'm going to simply erase the lines that we're not going to have. And now we have a ridge that's proper. Okay. So let's cut this 2D back on. Right, so now we're starting to look like something. So now we got this little gable on the front. And you can see that uh, that's a raised gable um, above. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's just go ahead and draw a line. And what I'm going to do is go into the green axis. And hold down shift until it hits that face. See? hits it nicely onto that face. I'm going to come over and do the other side. And do the same thing. Then we'll come and get the peak. And I'm going to connect these lines for the valley that sits on top of that roof. Now this is the roof plan that we have below us. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the inference to get to that point right there. Okay. And let's see here. Let's do that same sort of thing. Let's work our way backwards in here and infer these same spots. And you can see I've already got a face there, so let's go from that endpoint. We should lock into our other endpoint that we made. And from there down to that endpoint. Okay. Get rid of that line. Hold down control and you can select multiple faces and reverse face. Okay, so we got that gable. Now we've got these little lines we've got to get rid of, these extra lines that I drew. Again, there's lots of different ways you can do this. People, you just have to find your way that works. All right, so that's that gable that's on the front. All right, now we've got. Uh, essentially, if we were to look at this, we've got this gable here and this gable here. So we don't even need to fool with this elevation here because we've already gotten the um, the hip that you're seeing here and this gable here and this gable that's out of the garage and that's starting to go back down for that hip portion. So we're good there. Now we've got this other gable to get here. So let's take this guy, move again hovering over you'll see the marks that we can rotate by and I'm going to move it right from this part of the fascia the top of the fascia there right to there all right I've obviously we've already got that hip see how that lines up nicely we've already got that hip we just got to get this raised gable portion that's up here that actually comes out and extends out so let's get um, in fact let's just go ahead and move it out until it gets out to this point here. So let's move it from here to here. It's still blue, it's still selected, but now uh, this way we can get this gable in the proper position. So let's hold down shift, we're going in the green. Okay, so we've got that line. Let's go to the peak. 
and we're going to go down to the green axis, hold down shift, we hit that face, boom. Let's go along and get along this rake here and do the same. We're going to hold down green until we hit that face and then we're going to continue up to there. Must not have gotten a line here. There we go. So I'm going to select these two faces, reverse faces. So um, we've got the gable here. We've, you're seeing the back part of that hip. So it looks like we have everything. So I'm going to cut off 2D. Ah, we've got this one little portion in here. Yeah, this is interesting. So we've got on this face here, you've got this Eve here and this little section here. And I'm going to um, let's see here. Let's draw a line from here over to here. And from here, we're going to infer to that point. All right, so we don't need this line here. So what's happening is this roof's going to sit over on top of this roof. And this is going to come down and then continue until it hits right here. So let's get top of this portion. And let's go back until we hit the face. I'm holding down shift to lock it into the green. It hits that face and then I'm going to connect it to there. Okay, and then from here it goes over until it hits this gable. So I'm going to just pop over to there. Okay. Let's look at this and uh, get rid of the 2D elements now. And let's look at this. So this section of the roof needs to come out. But we also know that we're not going to have any shingles underneath here. Okay, let's look back in the 2D. You see where I've got brick coming up through there. Those shingles are going to wrap around there. So let's let's get that place, uh, that line defined. I'm going to come over, stay in the green until we hit there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Right at that face there until it hits there. All right, now I'm going to get a line that's perpendicular to this face. See, I'm going in the purple like that. So let's um, now use a tape measure, and I'm going to go along this axis until I hit that point right there. And I'm going to use the tape measure again along in that same until I hit that. Lots of different ways you can do this, but that's one way of, of doing that. So that gives us the guidelines that we need. Let's get rid of this line. And get rid of this line that we don't need and we don't need this little quick line that we did and then I'm going to come down from here and get rid of the shingles the, or the faces that we have in there that we would not be putting shingles on so we don't skew our results in estimator and back over to here to there and simply take that one line and delete it and now we're, we've gotten rid of those shingles that, that overlay there that we would not be putting shingles upon. All right, let's go back into cutting off the 2D so we can see this clear. We got the same case on the back of the house here. So uh, in this case, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to draw a line and have it go along this face. See, I'm locking in that inference of going perpendicular to that. So I've got a line on the face. So we're going to do that same thing with the tape measure. We're going to just pick along this line, hold down shift to lock in that inference, and we're going to come over until we hit this brick line and give us a guideline. I'm going to come over and do the same thing until I get over to this brick line. I'm going to cut off the 2D images now. I'm going to get rid of this line that we had. All right, and so I'm going to just simply do that same action that I did before. Go from here up until you get to this peak go from here until you get to this point that intersection and to there and again we're going to collect this select that one line and get rid of it okay so now we're accurate there 
these guides that are all over the place I have a shortcut on my keyboard control G and all that does is you go into your preferences and and it makes it delete the guidelines but I use them all the time so I can quickly delete the guides alright let's look up underneath here and we see we still got some things going on that alright let's go back and revisit this we know that we had a line there that we're gonna get rid of and a line there to get rid of and that sort of takes care of the section here where this roof is coming down and and um, actually you know that's going to go back up underneath there so let's go back our 2d so you can see that uh, first of all I'm going to triple click on this and I'm going to make this a group I'm going to put that on the roof layer and cut off that roof so with this garage roof as it goes back into here this roof is coming down over on top of that roof so let's cut the roof back on and that's going to be coming down let's let's say that that's going to be let's cut off the 2d for a second I'm going to use the tape measure tool and I'm going to come back and lock into there uh, depending on what the overhang is here, let's see if we can get that by looking at these elevations. We can't tell what this overhang is against the garage. I don't think we're going to see that anywhere. So let's just measure what the overhang is on a given face. Let's go right here. So it's basically a 16 inch overhang. So we've got that one guideline. So I'm going to use the tape measure and go back 16 inches to where it would hit the house all this just to be accurate so I'm going to draw along there until I hit this point here and then connect the dots which we already have I'm going to get rid of my guides excuse me I should have done that with inside this group so let's take that and explode this now we're back to individual faces so I can get rid of this line okay now this shingles are going to come to here and back and coming down into where it hits this fascia but this stuff inside here needs to go away so we're going to draw a line there to make these individual faces so we don't lose anything. We've got to be careful not to erase anything we don't want to erase. Okay, so we don't have any more faces, but we'll just kind of clean this up a little bit. Let's cut off the 2D so we see all these errant lines. we got one more little face. See, we're not going to have shingles on that. So let's see. You see, that's its own face. So I'm going to delete the edges that create that face. So it looks pretty good. Looks like we have everything we need uh, to cover for this roof. So I'm going to uh, use materials. and I'm going to use this um, shingle texture that I have. Just select it and I'm going to paint each face of this roof where it looks like shingles okay so we have a roof now I'm gonna triple click on that and I'm going to make it a component you could have just hit G on the shortcut and we're gonna call this roof and I'm going to put that on the layer called roof okay all right now we've done that we've got a 3D roof so we can study it for any kind of uh, potential water problems or something that it won't work alright now we can use um, estimator and we're going to get the area of this roof so that we can calculate how many shingles that we need or labor or nails or underlayment so in this case we're going to go to the materials tab in estimator and we're going to select that roof and you'll notice this asphalt 18 which is the name of that uh, texture that we use there if we pop over here you'll see that asphalt 18 alright then first thing I'm going to do is go to the codes cost codes and I'm going to just start typing in roofing and I'm going to say let's pick roofing materials and I'm going to say um, Timberline HD shingles whatever you use for your shingles My vendor is Caps Home Building Center I want to use the square feet but my multiplier, I'm going to say divide by 100 for the number of share, uh, squares of shingles I need. Um, I'm going to put in here um, $100. I don't know how much the square. I pay by 
return key. So let's just say $100 per SQ for square. Let's definitely put some waste in here. We got lots of hips and valleys. So let's say 15% waste, 5.3% sales tax, save changes. Now quickly you can see we've got our shingle amount. All right, and um, let's add an associated cost. Cost code roofing and go to labor. And we'll put uh, roofing labor and pick my roofer out of the vendors. Again, I'm using square feet and I'm going to use a multiplier divide by 100. And again, I'm just going to put $100 in here per square. No tax, no way. Uh, but the waste, yes, because we're going to need that. Let's do that same waste percentage. Save changes. And then, so now we can see pretty quickly, here's our roofing amount for this roof. We go to reports and go to HTML report. And now we're seeing our roofing materials and our roofing labor. We could print that out if we needed to. We could add margin um, as well. So that's a pretty quick uh, way of getting a roof takeoff using just the 2D elements that you get from uh, your designer. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.